Hey, what's up everybody? Would you look at that table? Isn't it beautiful? Silver and gold galore. As you guys know, I am big, well, I ain't big into it. I, I love it. It's a passion of mine is to collect silver and gold. Um, and I think a lot of you have the same passion. So today, I just wanted to load the table up for a sale slash deal, just a deal of the day for you guys since I haven't done one in a little bit. I'm only offering three of these, um, the actual deal of the days, um, but obviously everything else is still available on the website. Um, I just don't want to oversell more than what I have available because the last time I did um, that I got behind and I don't want to get behind again because I don't think that's good customer service. So um, this is what I had in the box downstairs. Um, so this is kind of what I, I, I'm throwing out there to you guys. So I have three sales and what the sale is going to consist of, or three deals of the day, that this is what you have to buy in order to get it. Three half pound bags, one small bag, and one coin pool. Um, I didn't bring the coin pool bag down, um, but you guys, you guys can see on the website what's in there. There's some walkers, barber, uh, there's no barber, sorry. Um, there's barber quarter, I think. But there's all kinds of stuff in there to include Silver Eagle, Peace Dollar, um, there's one less Kennedy, and one less half ounce, but I'll probably put those back because I, I mean, I have a bunch of them, but, and, and so you know, this is not all my coins, I just wanted to, you know, make a pretty picture for the thumbnail, um, and I think I got some nice ones out here on the table, but that said, so if you are one of the three folks who gets the first three deals of the day, which is, there's three. Like I said, there's only three because there's only nine half pound bags on the table. Um, so those are what is offered up. So you're going to spend um, $66 on half pound bags, $10 on a small bag, and $10 on a uh, pull from the uh, coin bag, which is $86. And with that, you're going to get one of these five coins at random. Um, there's a 1912 barber quarter it's it's probably it could go very fine it could be a very fine or not very fine I mean extra fine I don't know I'm not a coin grader it does have a scratch cross eagle but it is very very nice if if I wasn't doing the sale and there's a chance this won't get out the door but if it does whoever gets it I'm pretty sure that's a $20 quarter maybe more I don't know at least 15, because I think I paid more than 20 for it, but, um, 1926 Standing Liberty Quarter, um, a 1942 Walker, a 1944 Walker, and a 1963 Benjamin Franklin, which I, I'm, this is becoming one of my favorite coins. The Benjamin Franklin halves are just so cool. Um, now... <laughs> To make it more interesting, there are two three-quarter pound bags on the table and a one pound bag on the table. So if you are a person looking to get a lot more material and you want to partake in the sale, buy those items as I mentioned. And whoever buys the most is going to get this. This is until noon tomorrow, by the way. This sale ends at noon tomorrow. Um, or until they're all gone, I will post a comment in the description when all three have sold. Um, but this will go to whoever spends the most money as a sign of my appreciation. Isn't that awesome? It's uh, 216 years old. It's an 1802 um, Carlos III uh, de Gracia. Um, uh, his pen at end hex to real ft um, and here's the obverse or the reverse I'm sorry and uh, it's it's cool you know how many 216 year old coins do you have in your coin collection if you don't here's one for you it, it looks like somebody dropped it a long time ago probably like you know 199 years ago or something I don't know um, but it's kind of cool because the edge is readed but like it's so old that the reading it looks like somebody probably manually readed the edges of these coins. I don't know. It's super old though. Um, I got it from this place, which I've been pretty impressed with this place. 
uh, Mac Vandersteen Rare Coins. Um, they have a website and they're on eBay. Very, very quick, very awesome. They're the same folks I've got all my graded coins from, my slab coins, and my Mr. 1932 Denver Washington. So, there you go. That's the deal. Whoever spends the most, um, you're going to get that because that is the oldest coin in my collection. And I want to do something special for you guys because you guys are awesome and special to me as you guys have allowed for me to turn my hobby into something that keeps me from having to work a part-time job. And uh, that, to me, is, is awesome. So, um, because I work full-time and I don't want to work part-time too. My wife's very expensive and she can definitely hear me. Um, so, if I don't make another video or leave a comment in the section below, you might want to hit her up for lunch money because she probably buried me in the backyard, but no, just kidding. So, please, uh, you know, like this video, share it, tell your friends, come check us out, tomsholder.com. Get, the, get in on this sale, be the guy who buys, guy or gal who buys the most, and you will reap the benefits because you're not only going to get either a barber quarter, a standing liberty quarter, or a half dollar, you know, 90% is over half dollar. You're also going to get a 216 year old coin and your coin pool. So, um, yeah. Oh, by the way, you can get as many coin pools from now until tomorrow as you want, as long as you buy material. So if you want to buy 10 coin pools, you can get 10 coin pools. Um, I'm just doing that, um, throwing that in there. That is a way you can be the guy who's, or gal who spends the most. That said, I'm cutting this video off here. Go buy, go buy now, go buy before noon tomorrow so you can get in on this awesome deal. And um, I'm leaving you with this beautiful table. And maybe I'll show it off a bit. Ooh, pretty. Do you guys see what that is right there? 1986 Silver Eagle. Yeah, I didn't just put that on top because by happen, you know, by chance. That's one of my favorite coins that I have. It took me forever to get a 1986. Anybody that knows Silver Eagles knows why. They're, they're becoming harder to get. Or you have to pay a lot for them, which is dumb. Those are my awesome hand-poured two-ounce bars. I love those. And then I have one of my other favorite ones. I have a Johnson Matthey. That's more of a collector silver bar. And this is a Perth bar, which I've never seen outside of a, uh, a holder. And when I seen it at the coin shop, I had to get it. I was like, awesome. Because... You know, it's a Perth Mint bar. They're four nines fine, so they're really cool. And you all have a great night. Hope to hear my email blowing up of orders. So you all take care. And until next time, gold luck.